Hi friends, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got for you a fall 2022 capsule wardrobe where I show you how to turn these 15 items into over 50 different outfits. Let's get started! First, I'll start off by showing each item individually and we're starting off with the tops. First step is this plain beige cropped tank top. It's ribbed with a racer back and the material is very durable and thick but still stretchy, making it a great basic top to serve as an innerwear this autumn. Next is this knit gray turtleneck. It's a calming neutral color that looks great on any skin tone and the knit material is a great way to keep in the warmth as we transition to cooler weather. The bell sleeves make it very flattering to just wear on its own, but it's also a top that can be worn inside a coat or jacket as well. Next is this basic off-white short sleeved mock neck. The material is thick and stretchy with a ribbed material, but not see-through, making it a great basic option that can be paired with practically everything in the upcoming fall months. Our last top is this black knit mock neck. Black is an essential color in the cooler months since we tend to go for darker colors during this season. What I love about this top is the sharp jagged detailing on the hem of the neckline, giving this piece a unique element. It's also form-fitted but not too tight so you can still breathe, making it a great staple in any fall wardrobe. Now moving on to the bottoms. First, we have a pair of flowing, wide-legged black slacks. Compared to other black slacks, this one is stretchy but also thick, so it'll definitely keep your legs warm. The slightly cropped style makes it overall feel less restricting and stuffy, perfect for the fall when the temperature is just starting to cool down. Now moving on to a pair of jeans. This one is a looser, wide-legged style in a medium wash. Baggy style jeans are very in trend this fall season, so I knew I had to add one in. My favorite part of the jeans is the pleated detailing in the front, making it look super flattering on anyone who wears it. Next up is another pair of jeans. To balance out the wide leg silhouette of the first pair, this time I chose a skinnier style in a dark wash. A pair of skinny jeans is a must in cooler months because it's boot season. It's finally time to start tucking our jeans into our boots. The lack of the hemming on the bottom makes it look more raw, which is great for when you want to look more casual. Last up is this suede black straight line skirt with buttons. Even if the weather gets colder, that shouldn't stop you from wearing skirts. I chose this one because it's black, so it matches with a lot of different things, and the suede material paired with the color black makes it more suitable for the fall winter season rather than the warmer months. Now moving on to outerwear. First up is this navy blue bomber jacket. Bomber jackets are very in trend this season and for a good reason. They keep you warm but are still light enough that you don't look overly bulky and lose your shape. I also wanted to add in a more casual option for outerwear compared to the slightly more classy pieces coming up. Our next outerwear is this classic black blazer. It's long but tapered at the waist making it more form fitting and flattering. It's a great option for when you want to look more sophisticated, but is versatile enough to dress both up and down for a variety of outfits. Next is another blazer, still black but with a modern twist. Leather everything is in this season and an oversized leather blazer like this one matches with the trend perfectly. It's clean, chic, but edgy all in one, making it a great piece to style for the fall. Last up is a must-have staple piece in any fall wardrobe, a classic trench coat. This is a solid piece that belongs in everyone's essential wardrobe collection. The neutral color of the trench coat makes it very easy to dress down or up in a lot of different styles. And lastly, we have our shoes. First up are some sneakers, but a bit different from the normal sporty sneakers you see. This one is an off-white color with elements of beige suede giving it a more sophisticated and formal feel compared to normal athletic shoes. However, it is still casual enough to match with a lot of different outfits in any season. My next pair of shoes are these taupe pointed toe heeled booties. It's classic, stylish, and the taupe color is perfect for fall. And lastly are these bold heeled over the knee boots. 
Over the knee boots are back and have hit all the runways recently and are one of the top trends this season. These are a classic black suede pair, perfect for the fall and winter season, and great for giving some extra warmth to your legs. Moving on to the accessories. I didn't include these in the final item count because they aren't really essential for the base outfits, but they definitely always embellish the outfits in the best of ways. First up are the three bags. The first one is a small sized grayish brown crossbody bag from Burberry. It's simple but functional and matches well with the cooler tones of the fall autumn color palette. Next is a bigger option, a warmer toned beige brown handbag also from Burberry. It's a classic style and print that suits the warmer tones of the fall autumn color palette. And lastly is this black bucket style bag from Kate Spade. It's cute and very lightweight, but the unique design allows a lot of room to carry all of your everyday essentials. On to the rest of the accessories, the hats. First is this warm camel brown beret. I think that berets are a staple fall accessory and I absolutely needed to include it in the lineup. And lastly is this black felt wide brimmed hat. Adding any sort of accessory always embellishes an outfit, but I think that wide brimmed hats take it up a notch. Gives off bold and fun vibes, but also chic at the same time. And that's it for the breakdown of all the items in this fall autumn capsule wardrobe. Now I'll show you how I styled the 15 base pieces into over 50 different outfits.